Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm Solly Pones, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, the long-awaited, highly anticipated Zelda remake released for the Nintendo 3DS today, or probably tomorrow, depending on when I choose to post this video. I was actually fortunate enough to get my hands on an early copy of this game, so I'm recording this a week before the initial release date. This is going to be my full 100% Let's Play, where I collect and show off all the masks, hearts, and upgrades in this game. And to commemorate this amazing day in history, I'm going to be marathoning this game until the very end. So you guys can expect at least 3-5 to five videos a day until completion starting from now. If you guys are just as excited as I am, then make sure to show your love and support by hitting that like button for me. Anyways guys, without any further delays, let's go ahead and get going. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Hey, hey, you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't, Tail. What would you do if we dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Ah, oh, but sis, well, why can't I try it out too?
And that was it guys, the opening cutscene to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Believe it or not, I've actually had this game for a couple of days now and I've never once watched that cutscene. And if you guys thought that was great, just wait until you see the actual gameplay for this game. You guys are about to be mind blown. Like this game is quickly becoming one of my all time favorite Zelda games. Like I feel like by the end of the Let's Play, this will easily be my all time favorite Zelda game. Speaking of all time favorite Zelda games, what is your all time favorite Zelda game? I'm kind of intrigued to see how many people favor Majora's Mask over any other Zelda game. Uh, now, based on the original Majora's Mask game, because I feel like this, this right here, will easily be a lot of you guys' all-time favorite Zelda game. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hehe. <laughs> ah, boo hoo! Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on now. Do you really think you could beat me as I am now, fool? Now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking like that way forever. S Sis! Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here. Tail, you can't leave without me. You. If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy, do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. You know, guys, when I was a kid, I never used to read any of the dialogue for any of the video games that I played. But then as I started replaying them as I got older, I started paying more attention to reading all of the dialogue and getting a better understanding for the stories uh, on the video games that I played based on the actual dialogue instead of the gameplay itself. And I never realized how sinister uh, and dark Majora's Mask could be, uh, you know, for a... A Nintendo Zelda game, I guess. And you guys are about to find out what I'm talking about in just maybe a couple of minutes right now. Like, you'll see how dark the Skull Kid is when Majora's Mask possesses him. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there. I, um, apologize. So, so take me with you. You want to know about that Skull Kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just happened to have an idea on where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner or at least until we catch the Skull Kid. My name is Tattle, so uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've gotten all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Okay. 
So now we have to take Tattle with us. Uh, Tattle and the Purple Fairy, her brother, is actually Tail. Uh, they're actually siblings, and they travel with the Skull Kit to keep him in order. I feel like they're only with him. I feel like t the only reason Tattle was, like, hitting us on the head was to kind of prevent us from chasing after Majora because she knows uh, the kind of things Majora does, you know, to people in this game, and she probably didn't want us getting, you know, seriously injured or hurt by Majora, so... She kind of prevented us from, you know, chasing him, is what I feel like. I don't really know the meaning behind why she, like, stayed behind and, and kept us in check. But if you guys do, by all means, feel free to let me know, because I'm not really sure if I'm right. This is just something that I feel like is what happened. So, we're going to kick this chest open, and let's see what we find. We find a Deku Nut. The cool thing that I actually never realized until recently when I played, not this game, but the original game, uh, I don't want to know about how to use Deku Nuts. I'm pretty sure how to use them. Okay, so if you actually fly from a Deku Flower and you hit B, you can drop Deku Nuts. Wow, we have 10 of those things? Are you kidding me? I thought we only had one. I guess we pick them up in quantities, like 10 at once in a bunch. Oh, will we make it? Will we make it? Oh, I think we will. Okay, we made it. We hardly made that one. Oh, gosh. Hey, you, come on, press L to talk to me. Okay, let's do that. Let's talk to, to Tattle. Uh, hello? I'm trying to talk to you. She's not, she's not letting me talk to her, so I guess we'll just, we'll just go over here. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Okay. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of reminds me of this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. So the story behind this tree is actually just really sad. Um, Majora, essentially, when he cr when he turned us into a Deku, he took the spirit of a Deku, another Deku, and encased it in us. So essentially, he had to kill this Deku right here in order for us to become a Deku. And the reason why I know this is because later on in the game, we'll actually meet this boy's father, and he'll tell us about how we remind him uh, of his child when we're wearing this Deku mask. And then at the end of the original Majora's Mask game, like the N64 version in the credits, you'll actually see that very Deku that said that we remind him of his child uh, you'll see him standing next to this tree bawling his eyes out it's really sad how like that's the case and when you really think about it like all of the masks that we wear in this game are actually spirits of dead people that are encased into the mask that we just take form of so technically this theory isn't really so far-fetched I guess but it's just sad that Deku was just a child and Majora took his life away And this is it, guys, the clock tower. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful this looks. This is absolutely gorgeous, like, oh my god. Look at the graphics, look at all the detail they put into this game. Like, this is so freaking beautiful. Like, I honestly feel like this is going to be my all-time favorite Zelda game by the end of this Let's Play. Holy crap. So let's just make our way to the top and find... Ooh, what is this? I've never actually been in one of these. What is this? Hi there, I am Shika Stone. Too soon, kid. Way too soon. Your journey barely even started. Go on. Get out of here, Scoot. Go have some big adventures. If you get stumped, come see me. I'll be happy to help. All right. Let's go ahead and exit. Uh-oh. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Hey, it's the mask salesman. She's scared. Aw. <laughs> I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So I am here at a loss, and now i found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know a way to return you to your former self. If you can get that precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back the precious mask the imp stole from me. What? It's not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I am a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and you have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Oh, and one more thing. Please be so kind as to direct your gaze over there for a moment. 
That stone over there, do you see it? It's called the Shika Stone. Well, the world has weighed you down with worry, crawl inside and let it show you the way. If you ever find yourself lost on the grand adventure, seek the counsel of the wise old stone. It will surely help you in your noble quest. Well then, I'm counting on you. Well, that makes sense. I feel like they put it in here because Nintendo feel like there's going to be a lot of new people that are going to be playing this game for the very first time and they're not really going to understand what to do because Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is kind of somewhat of a difficult Zelda game compared to all the other Zelda games. So I kind of feel like with all of the Nintendo games that have recently come out and the way they hold your hand throughout the full game, it's going to be the same way with this. I mean, they have changed a lot of things that have made this game significantly easier and I'm actually going to talk about that in the next episode. But for now, we're going to end off the first episode, and in the next episode, we are going to begin on our quest in the land of Termina to find and save Navi and hopefully stop Majora from doing evil things. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, remember, leave a like on this video. And uh, just to quickly say, I actually am doing a giveaway on this game. I'm giving away three physical copies of this game. The link to that is in the description of this video. So if you guys want to find out more on how to participate in that, then make sure you read the description of this video and you have a chance to win a free copy of this game by the end of this week. So thank you guys all so much again for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.